Listen, if you ain't sipping on matcha, what is you sipping on? What are you sipping on? Look, it's even got a green straw because green is all I see. What do we see? Walk for me, 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 walk for me. Oh my god, it's a squirrel. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel. We have unfinished business with each other. You owe me my nuts. No, but for real though, chickadees, like I think I'm gonna like start like reviewing the matchas of the city. So this wasn't from the Hipster Cafe because we don't support the Hipster Cafe. F the Hipster Cafe. This was from the Indie Cafe. There's a big difference because like indie kids are so much like less judgmental and like they're cooler and they're like not afraid to smile and have a conversation. Like, can you believe that I actually was like greeted when I walked into this place? Like, it actually was giving customer service. Now, I've never tried the matcha at the Hipster Cafe, but for the Indie Cafe, it's definitely giving matcha. Like, there's barely any sugar in it, which I like, which I like. And they had almond milk. And there's no, like, look, you know how, like, when you go to bum freaking Starbucks, they be putting, like, the chunks. They don't be stirring it up. Well, they actually stirred the matcha. They actually stir the matcha. So this is me trying the matcha. Oh, my God. Y'all, it's like it's so beautiful outside. I literally wish you could feel it. It feels like, it just feels like the beach. Like it's just, it seriously feels like the beach. Like I'm at the beach right now. Like do you see the ocean behind me? Like it's just so beautiful. It's literally just so beautiful. Hey chickadees. POV, you're sitting at the park and you're depressed and lonely and sad because your baby daddy who you convinced in your brain is your boyfriend, but literally is not even close to being anywhere ready to be a boyfriend, nor is even looking for a relationship, but you still convince yourself that he's your boyfriend. Yeah, that's me. That's me. And so now I'm just sitting here like crying because he literally hasn't messaged me in the past 24 hours. And I'm just like really sad because it's just like, how did he abandon me like this? Like we were supposed to hang out tonight and I clearly know why he's trying to ghost me because he doesn't want to hang out tonight. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. So here I am sitting in the motherfucking park looking like an ugly freaking rat. Like I wish I had like a paper bag over my head. Like I'm just having one of those days where like I don't want to look or be seen or do anything. Like I just want to lay in a coffin and be slowly lowered down six feet under the ground and hear people shoveling dirt on top of my grave. Like do you guys get the vibe? Because that's the vibe. This is life in your 20s. Every day is a constant battle between the ideas and thoughts of whether you'll make it or not. Whether you'll find love or heartbreak. Whether you'll be alone or whether you'll be cherished. Whether your name will be in light or your name will be written in stone. All I know is that in this moment, I'm a motherfucking punk ass faggot ass bitch. But yeah, chickadees. And I'm just like really depressed because it's just like I can't go out and get matcha because like I already got matcha yesterday. So how am I supposed to pick myself up? Like I'm trying to play some good freaking music, but like anytime I listen to music, I want to dance. And because I'm surrounded by motherfucking people, I can't dance. So I'm just like in a claustrophobic clusterfuck right now, you know? I could go in an elevator and like jump up and down and scream. I need like a walk-in fridge. I want to scream in the walk-in fridge, like walk-in freezer. I don't know, chickadees. We will accomplish this together. We will get through this time period together. Like I'm debating if I even want to go out to the club tonight. Like I really just want to like, I don't know. Like I just want to be bundled up like under the covers and literally like shut my phone off. Like I'm going to turn my phone off and just be purely alone. Like, I know chickadees, I say this literally every other week, but I did delete Grinder. 
<laughs> but this time it's serious because I re-downloaded TikTok. So I was like, you know what? We are going to fill one void. Like we're gonna, because Grindr's bad for you and so is TikTok. So we'll just switch them out. Like, you know what I'm saying? So at least the new TikTok I created, it's not like a bunch of videos that are gonna like make me go into like psychosis because like they're just like funny videos, which is good because like I need to laugh. Like I forget what video I watched the other day, but like I literally was laughing so hard. Oh my gosh, it was someone who's imitating the Pinky Doll Girl, the live streamer. Yeah. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll start watching Pose because like I want to like learn new like voguing moves. So when I go to the club, I can like vogue it out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, chickadees. To be continued. Um, hey guys, what's up? So here it is. It's all hung up now. Look how fabulous and amazing it looks. Yeah. So chickadees, I'm literally home alone. Like I'm like kind of freaking out. I'm just like, where's my family at? Like I'm like, I feel like the scene in Home Alone where I'm just like, I made my family disappear. Like, can you believe it? <laughs> for free yes for free but like chickadees i just like uh, the energy today is just like it's 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 mad crazy like the amount of things that like i'm feeling the thoughts that have just been going through my head like it's just some crazy stuff like it's crazy because it's just like i really want to like reach out to like my friends and like be like hey do you want to hang out tonight but like I can't even get myself to like do that like I don't even know what it is like I don't know like it's just it's just weird it's like I can't even do it like I, I, I just can't like because I'm afraid like okay what if they say no and I know what you're thinking like okay if they say no they just say no like it's better asking than not asking at all but it's just like I don't know like I have just like a major fear of reject rejection in general and it's just like why trigger that fear when I'm already feeling down like but even though like I really wish I had someone right now to like talk to and like be like of support to me because like I'm literally like freaking out today like <sighs> like work didn't help either work was like really busy and then like my supervisor had to make like a cunty comment like literally right before I left literally right before I left she had to make this like cunty comment and I'm just like girl are you like are you for real right now like I don't even want to think about that and it's just like I don't know and just like it's like I was riding on this like high wave since last Thursday and now like it's just finally crashed it's it's just crashed and yeah like it sucks like I wish I could tell y'all what I was thinking about but I'm not trying to have a grippy sock vacation no I'm not I'm not trying to have a grippy sock vacation you guys it's just like all these like thoughts fears and anxieties are just like they have just like fallen on me they've fallen on me the like this past like 24 hours and it's just like it's just so overwhelming it is so freaking overwhelming you guys like I probably should like write it down like I don't freaking I don't even freaking know like you guys can probably tell like the energy in this video I'm I apologize like this is just not like but you know I want to like keep it real keep it cute or get the boots Nina Bo Nina Brown I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm in a bad mood because it literally hit me I am surrounded by insufferable people. Is that the right word? Like the people that I am surrounded by at work, their lives are so like real and like depressing that like, it's just crazy. Like this one lady I work with, her husband had a stroke and like he has to get like some sort of like major surgery. That's the person who's being cunty to me. Then the person who is my manager, her brother, like, tried to commit suicide. And her parents are both, like, very old and they're getting sick. 
then this one Coco, her um her grandson got shot and killed a couple weeks ago. Um, then her work friend, his dad just passed away like two days ago and was brain dead after he was being trans um, transported to a different hospital. Then I just found out that this guy that I know, his baby passed away in February and died in its sleep from sleeping in the bed. It's like the baby strangled to death. Like this other lady who works in my office, she like her husband or someone in her family, she was talking about has cancer and like, it's just like too much guys. Like it's just, it's too freaking much. Like I literally like, I just, I don't know. Like it's just, it's just weird. And then like hearing stories about like how there's like certain workers who are like on meth and then there's others who are like on pills and then there's just petty drama and like there's just so much shit happening. There's literally so much shit happening like around me. And like how am I supposed like how am I not supposed to react to this? Like how am I like how am I supposed to process all of this information and not feel some type of way about it? Like please explain that. Someone please explain that because any sane person, any person who has like empathy towards people would be feeling how I feel. Like I feel like I've, I'm pretty valid and I'm not being a fucking brat about my emotion. You know, not even two or three weeks ago, I have this fucking dude I go on a date with belittle the shit out of me. Then I have this one dude who just used me for freaking sex and just dropped me at the pin of like, just dropped me. Then I freaking feel bad because I just freaking like, cold shouldered someone because meeting them I realized like oh wow like what this is is not cute like and now I'm like at this point where it's just like I'm like I don't know like I don't I don't even know <sighs> maybe everything I thought that I wanted in life isn't really what I wanted I don't know what you
song for you on the world's smallest violin. <laughs> 